So I remember a few months back, I made a video about the actor Matthew Marsden from The Reacher. If you guys are unfamiliar, Matthew Marsden took a lot of flack because he was heavily against the uh, mandates that were coming out over the last two years. And he just recently had an interview where he said that uh, it cost him a job, that his feelings towards the vaccine mandates definitely cost him his job and uh, overall almost his career like he's definitely feeling it like a lot of actors are feeling it uh who were against this whole nonsense granted there weren't many a lot of them were more than willing to go with the grain but with actors like this who were against it they're definitely feeling it uh especially if they're obviously white males or white people in general they're going to be feeling it because they don't have anything else to fall back on in terms of checking off a box so these people definitely are feeling the uh, the effects of going against the grain. Uh, but this interview is very interesting because he basically says that if more people stood up against this nonsense, it would have gone away. And I agree with that 100%. So we're going to get into the article, guys, from Bounding Into Comics. It says, Reacher actor Matthew Marsden reveals his opposition to the mandates recently cost him a job. And if more people stood up, these would have gone away. Guys, before we get into the article, if you can like this video, it would help spread out the video. We are trying to fight you. YouTube suppression. If you guys can like the video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Share it with your friends, all that nonsense. I'm working every single day to try to get us through this whole uh, little hurdle we have with YouTube. So it says throughout the pandemic, the politically outspoken Matthew Marsden has been vocal in his denouncing the draconian mandates imposed by companies across the world and the country, especially in Hollywood. And the funny thing is, the actress who played uh, Shuri in Black Panther was also one of the actors in Hollywood who was heavily against all the mandates. But the big difference is that she is a black female, so she had something to fall back on. If she got canceled for one ideology, they are not going to completely turn against her, even though they try to. They definitely try to, but with the tragic passing of Chadwick Boseman, they were unfortunately forced to rely on her to carry the storyline. So they decided to uh, bring her back at that point and like try to show her love when they clearly didn't really want to. It says, and it turns out, as recently revealed by the actor who portrayed the title character's father, Stan, in Amazon's Reacher, this, the strength of his convictions has even cost him a job opportunity. One of the reasons I spoke out on Twitter is because I saw that people felt like they didn't have a say, which is part of the reason why I started my channel, by the way. I felt the same way. It says, tweeted Marsden on December 8th, I am aware of the risk involved and I appreciate the DMs supporting me. To this end, he then revealed, I lost a job last week because I am unvaccinated and I will not lie about it. If more people stood up in Hollywood or in any other profession and said no, then these mandates would have gone away. And I agree with that one million percent. It is the complacency of people that allow that to take over in the first place. Without getting too political, because like I said, this is not really a political channel, but straightforward speaking, a lot of this was only allowed because people allowed it. They wanted to trade their freedoms. They wanted to trade their autonomy for literally feeling somewhat safe, even though, honestly, you weren't any more safe than you were before that. You just felt like you were. So you were willing to give it all up for that little bit of safety that was just fake safety at the end of the day. None of it was real. And you just want to basically pretend like they're trying to make you feel more safe than they actually were. If you wanted to get the uh, poke, you were more than willing to go get it. I don't understand why you were trying to force everybody else to get it. But once again, that's, you know, political speak. We're not going to go there. It says it is the same on Twitter, Marsden compared. The trolls know they can push you around. It is never going to end. No one forces you to post politically your choice. And that's another thing, too. These actors who actually use their platforms on the right or on the left to uh, to basically show for politics. I don't really know if I necessarily agree with that, because like I said, I troll a lot of lefties that use their platform uh, for politics when they should be focusing on entertainment and stuff like that, if that's what your field is. But at the end of the day, the right does it, too. Not as many, but the right definitely does it, too. And it's the same thing. Like if you're an actor. Stick to freaking acting. You know, if you want to say every now and then something, use your platform for something, I get it. But if your entire Twitter feed is politics, then get a fucking job in politics, you know? It says, returning to the topic early the next morning, the I Am That Man actor noted, just remember, it didn't disappear. People that didn't take the vaccine are still alive. People that did are still getting sick. People aren't wearing masks, and somehow we are still going on about our daily lives. It could have been this way the whole time, Marsden lamented. And that's true, too. I, got, I gotta give him credit. That is true, too. That is a very simple statement, and a lot of people will go nuts over that statement simply because it is true. Like, people want to make it into something that it's not because they want validation for the reason why they gave up their freedoms in turn for fake safety. That's what they want. They want to feel vindicated in their choice. 
It says later, the actor theorized that men did not speak out against such mandates because society has effectively neutered them. And that's something we also talk about all the time, the emasculation of men. Quote teeting a post by uh, Hierarchy 1979 in which she pointed out that while many men stuck on their face muzzles and lacked balls during the whole pandemic, she had conversely seen far more women kick back. Marsden asserted men have been emasculated so much over the past few years that they have been taught that to stand up for something that you believe in is tos toxic masculinity. It starts in school where boys are expected to behave like girls. He continued, women have stepped up because they are protecting their kids. And you know what's funny? If you go back, I made a video about this whole thing, about the emasculation of men. And I basically said that it's going to come to a point, sadly, that it's going to take women getting fed up in order for things to change. Because it seems like the majority of men are just so lacking in balls these days. And that's just through years and years and decades of, of mental training and, and trying to teach men that how they feel is super toxic and, and being masculine is toxic and all this fucking nonsense. But it is unfortunate. And it's going to take women getting really fed up to actually see changes, honestly. I think that's what's going to happen. It says, in an example of his historical commitment to fighting against the uh, the panic, in October 2021, Marsden called out the massive hypocrisy of pro-vax advocates' dictatorial behavior towards those who do not wish to get the jab. It's amazing that people are calling the unvaccinated selfish while simultaneously saying that if they do not compromise their morals, they should lose their jobs travel, not be treated in hospitals, not be allowed to live their normal lives, concluded the actor. That used to be called bullying. And it is true. It's always, it's never like a, a, a consistency thing. It's always like a super hypocritical thing, right? Like anytime you have people like that come out and say certain things like that, it is always from a hip, hypocritical place. It's never consistent. If you try to uh, go against their beliefs or go against their ideologies, it's going to fall apart pretty quickly. We've seen that over and over and over again. Even on Twitter, like on, on other topics, you could talk about misogyny, you could talk about entertainment, Hollywood, whatever. Whenever you get someone who's a shill and you go against their beliefs, and you start to question them, they never want to have the conversation. It's usually just a shouting match, and then when they start coming out or running out of things to say, then they basically say, "Well, I don't have to. I don't have to talk to you. I don't have to engage in this. I'm just gonna block you." And then that's it. They never want to have a conversation because their ideology is only go, gonna go as far as what someone told them. They don't actually think for themselves at the end of the day. So when they have, when they are forced to think for themselves, that's when things are brought to light. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought of today's story, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.